Um, my name is Christina James Buchanan. I go by CJ. I have over 20 years experience I would just say connecting. I've worked in industries from software to politics to venture capital, and really what my claim to fame is, is connecting. I'm able to quickly take what one person needs and to find out what they need and connect them with the other person and to make things happen. So I truly operate behind the scenes and I'm interested in everything. And I really love the technology world. I love the way it makes connecting easier. And um, that's what I do. describe my life in three sentences. You just did. I am here, I was there, now I'm gone. We found love again. Creative technologies, what are my thoughts? Um, I actually am quite smitten with all the creative technologies. I came from a family of my father's a scientist, my mother is an artist, um, my, several of my aunts are artists, and what I've really found is People like my mother it's, and my aunt, it's given them a platform, even though they're a little bit older and they're not necessarily interested in working, doing their artwork in art galleries. They have a forum to connect with other artists, to sell their work, to show their work. And I think it's absolutely fabulous. My mother has a huge interest in Chinese art and she's able to contact directly with people in China. So I think the tools and everything that are out there in the creative industries with blogging, like my mother blogs, my aunt blogs, my uncle blogs, I just, I think it's great because it really gets all the different generations into the same pool, and puts them on a level playing field, and it just makes the world a much more interesting and much bigger place. I think most of my friends would say the technology I couldn't live without is, is simple, simple technology is texting. Um, even though I'm a connector, I really don't like talking on the phone. And texting is a way really internationally, it's just like I have friends all over the world and it's a great way for me to put my thought right when I have it out there, they can get back to me at any time. And um, just now that I'm, I'm away from the States and I don't have my iPhone on international, so I have a phone here. I can't connect with people there, and it's driving me crazy because I don't know what's going on at home. Um, the digital world in 2015, I think it's um, kind of like that one song said, the future's so bright I need to wear shades. I think that the technology is going to bring us, bring us a bigger, brighter world more connected world, full of energy, full of connections, where there's no more differentiation in, you know, whether it's a, it's a race, creed, color, religion, um, in a much better way, where everybody's just gonna be able to get together, collaborate, create advanced technologies, and I'm hoping, thinking, that that's gonna be great for everyone. world something I'm like I said I'm a connector I'm a background person I have no interest in ruling the world however I am the person who's gonna whoever wants to rule the world I'm gonna be your number two I'm the one that's gonna make it happen so creative technology will help me do that by blogging tweeting Facebooking whatever else is out there whatever technology is out there I'm gonna be able to use it to bring that person to the forefront and make it all happen why should Joe Blog give a damn? Joe Blog should give a damn because, like other people have said, that there are so many areas, rural areas, that aren't connected, that are slowly becoming connected. And I think that the way the world has gone with the economy falling, coming back and forth, with wars, disagreements, whatever's gone on, a lot of it is because people just don't know any better. They don't you know, when they're not connected, they have no idea that there's something else. With being connected, it gives you opportunities, it gives you ideas, it gives you a way to totally change your life. And I think that that's why Joe Blow should give a damn, or Joe Blog, as you say, well, Joe Blow. But, um, so that's what I think. Who was my childhood hero was Underdog, and I don't know if you had that here in the UK. 
but Underdog was a, a character that kind of like, you know, this little pooch hound that was always told he couldn't do something, but he was always rescuing people and kind of saving the day. So that kind of me that says that your Joe Average type of person can overcome anything if he puts his mind to it. Great time. Um, I'm actually allergic to coffee, so I don't take it at all if I can help it, otherwise I end up in the hospital. What super superpower would I have? My superpower would be invisibility, because again, being a connector, I'm also what I call, not really a spy, but one thing about me is I think I, I can blend in any type of situation. I refer to myself as a chameleon. So whatever's going on, if there's something that I need to know, I work my way into that crowd. I'm very good at just kind of blending into the background and listening. If I could truly blend in the background, so no one I was there, know I was there, um, I would just be a, a lot better connector. Because the way I find out, nobody tells me I can't do something because I know there's always a way into something and I find it. So invisibility would help me get there that much faster.